it will continue the sequence as it is. With just text, it's going to just repeat the text. But with numbers, it's going to continue the sequence and count up. With months, we select January, February, March. We click and drag and we get the rest of the year. If we have dates, check this out. It will continue the dates. That's really cool. These dates, however, in the E column are once every week. So we've just gone September 1st, then September 8th, now September 15th. We can select all of these, click that blue button, and it will continue the weekly sequence. That's pretty awesome. Here I've selected September 1st, then October 1st, then November 1st. So we click highlight all of them. It will continue advancing one every month. This is really cool, but I want to show you that it is going to break down in certain cases. So we have the Fibonacci sequence. One, one, two, three, five, eight try to continue the Fibonacci sequence. It doesn't do it. Let's try to do doubling, one, four, eight. Now this clearly is every number is doubled. It's not doing it. So it's not continuing every single sequence, but if we have something like four, then eight, then 12, let's see if it does that. And it does, it adds four every time. So it's really just doing adding, not multiplying. Let's try squares. One squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine. 149. Yeah, it's not doing squares, right? So it's only going to do addition here. But I do really like that this is pretty smart depending on what data is in the cell and what kind of data it is. It's going to be doing some pretty cool math that can actually change the dates of the numbers or the month. Very awesome.